I? At home, as a teacher, who said your online or distance learning classes need to be boring when you can bring your pupils with you to the Stonehenge, Pyramids of Egypt, Chichen Itza, to the walls of the tomb of Miho. As a science teacher, I can bring my pupils to space. Oh yes, you heard it right. Your students can experience this too right at the comfort and safety of their homes. If you're in for that, just keep on watching. Hello everyone, this is Teacher K and welcome or welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to talk about a very awesome platform that I personally am very excited about. But before I reveal to you what this platform is, let me just tell you that this video will be divided into four categories. One will be its importance. Second is what it is and what it's not. Third is how to navigate it. And lastly, its features. Let's start with the importance. According to the Edgar Dale Cone of Experience, students only retain 20% of what they hear and 30% of what they see. However, that retention rate jumps up to 90% when the information is being experienced, such as doing a dramatic presentation, simulating the real experience, and doing the real thing. When distance learning happened, things like field trips, science experiments, and other hands-on learning techniques are no longer possible. And this makes us go back to the common visual aids such as PowerPoint, videos, photos, slides, and infographics, which gives us around 50% of the retention rate for our students. Can you relate? Me too, I'm guilty of that. But of course, there are no beakers or flasks in the science lab, no molecules made of marshmallows and toothpicks, no 3D skeletons, and no visits to the local museum. Educational experiences appear to be put on hold, right? Wrong! Augmented reality is the answer. But before I reveal to you what our platform is, let me just differentiate to you what augmented reality is from virtual reality. Virtual reality creates an entire virtual world, while augmented reality mixes the virtual world with the real world. In virtual reality, it's hard to differentiate what's real and what's not. While in augmented reality, it lets people interact with both worlds and distinguish clearly between both. Lastly, for virtual reality, this is usually achieved with the use of head-mounted display or glasses, while Augmented reality can be achieved by holding a smartphone or a tablet in front of you. Augmented reality or AR-based learning is changing the way students receive and retain information. AR, augmented reality, is indeed the future of learning. By pairing educational AR models with our teaching curriculum, students receive an immersive learning experience far superior to the common visual aids used. Like this. is more effective than showing this. For this augmented reality, the platform that I am talking about is Seek Education. And you can check the link on the description box later after this video. Seek Education is an online platform and supplemental teaching resource designed to encourage interactive learning through augmented reality. The platform allows students to experience education during these times of remote learning. While things like field trips, science experiments, and other hands-on techniques are not yet possible. And good news! 
Seek Education does not require an app download, headset, or goggles. It is completely online and all you need is a smartphone, tablet, laptop, or desktop. Alright, now we're done with what this platform is. Now let's proceed to the walkthrough or how to navigate it. As a teacher or educator, here are the things that you need to do. Number one, go to the website and create your own account. Again, you can check the link later in the description box. Once you're done creating your account, number two, you should have access to the following categories. All right, so let me walk you through how to navigate Seek Education right in their website. So once you already have your own account, you should be directed here. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, there are a lot of um, things or categories available right here. But let me just walk you through one by one. Okay, so here is a featured model of the week that is Jupiter. Going down, you will see you can add your favorites. And then you will have access to the field trips readily available by Seek Education. And they have, um, right now, there are how many? Four? Yeah, four available. And then you have lists as well, like the new ones, Harry Potter is even here. Popular staff pick, animated all. And then first subject and grade levels, it's all in here. Like, look at this one from animals, anatomy, architecture, art. You can, there's a lot to choose from, I tell you. Now, I want to walk you through one of the field trips here. So, as a science teacher, I'll just go for this one, of course. Okay, this one. So, the virtual field trip, solar system. There are a lot of slides available for this. All right. And there you have it. Now, what you can do with this type of virtual field trip is that you can use this part right here to come up with an introduction. You can, um, before you let people or your students take a tour of the solar system, come up with a short introduction of what it is. And then, once you're done with giving an introduction for each slide, you can then share the QR code right here. So share this QR code to your students. And once they're in, once the pupil is done scanning the QR code, this will appear. And voila! Okay, you can adjust, you can enlarge it, shrink it. And look how small the planets are compared to the sun. Amazing, right? All right, now let me jump right into the to the Apollo 11 interior. So this one, again, ask your students to take a um, picture of this QR code and then they should be directed to Apollo 11 interior.
or if you're not using these slides, you can share the QR codes by simply copying and pasting them from the platform to your teaching curriculum. For example, you can copy them into a PowerPoint or an email or even a paper handout. All they would have to do is scan the QR code with their device. Also, they do not need to have an account to access the AR experience. Well, if you're the student, here are some simple steps that you can use for you to enjoy the augmented reality experience. Once a pupil is done scanning, this will appear. Um, aim your camera down at an open, flat, and well-lit area. Slowly move the camera back and forth while the model loads. And then reposition, enlarge, shrink, and walk around the model. Alright, next category is the features of this platform. So aside from the things that I just showed you, there are actually a lot of categories that you can choose from if you want to share this experience with your students. But there's more. They have categories like animals, UNESCO World Heritage Sites, the Zoo, and the Louvre Museum. Also, they provide suggestions for certain grade levels from preschool to university level. I tell you, there are a lot of things available and you just have to see it for yourself. Oh, by the way, they are still in the business of adding AR models. And the good thing is, you can also request a model from their own platform. Exciting, right? The intersection between AR and education is an obvious and endless road of possibilities. Technology is finally reaching a point where content is more accessible than ever. And I hope your students will be able to benefit from it. Again, the link to Seek Education is found in the description box down below. Let me know your thoughts on this one. Share your thoughts in the comment section. And don't forget to like and subscribe and see you again next week for more exciting contents. Once again, this is Teacher K. Have a great day. Bye!